of my silence I can hear you But I'm afraid to be near you And I don't know Where to begin And I don't know Where to begin Somewhere in the desert There's a forest And an acre before us But I don't know where to begin but i don't know where to begin again i lost my strength completely oh be near me tired old mare with the wind in your hair This planet. I don't know, we've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. It's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Hmm. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Oh, cool. Should he be dark or colorful? Beware, man -troid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. I'm 
miss playing ball with my friends before we moved. Hmm, this is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time dad told me not to sing along so loud. Hey spider baby, I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast, he's in one place. <laughs> Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. I've read this one so many times. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons, but just in case. Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? You can't win this battle, Noctarius. It's already over, Power Bear. Cool. Don't let Mantroid control you. Nobody controls me. Mantroid is my leader, and he wants you to die. <laughs> Give up now. We don't have to fight. You're not the boss of me, Power Bear. You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy! Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar! Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? I'm sorry, Noctarius. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this! <laughs> ah. Ooh! Ow, my back! How? How did you do this? I can't move! Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, please come to my aid. I can't defeat Noctarius on my own. I can't! Captain Spirit! Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge for me. <sighs> Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. Chris, breakfast. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. What kind of a Viking would I be? Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. Hmm. I wonder where he hit them. Dad said he was going to fix that last month. <sighs> right? Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. Here comes the shark stinger.
Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Look out! Here comes the evil car! Ah! That pedestrian better get out of the way. How can you run over innocent people? Nobody should die like that. Mantroid and his minions will pay for this. Chris, I need now. I know, I'm coming. Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. Mmm, chocolate. Thanks, Claire. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. I could take over the town with this army. Or the world. Superheroes should wear those, but they're so comfy. Chris, I mean now. I know. Do not make me come over. That was a fun birthday party at Pizza Arcade. I hope it'll be cool next year. Hey, Chris, you better come to breakfast when I holler at you, or else we're gonna have a problem. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I got things to do. What'd you expect, a waffle? I just like sunny side up. Like mom used to make. <sighs> yeah. Me too. But that's not gonna happen. I know. You can't keep saying mom used to do this or that. I know more than anybody, Chris. I know, okay? Yeah, okay. You're drinking beer before you eat? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's game day. Dads are allowed to drink early. Hey, I don't need a lecture from my son, thanks. I don't drink that much. I mean, what am I supposed to do in this fucking town? Go to church like all these assholes? I'm sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? 
looks better. Anybody yeah, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? No, it's fine. I worked it out. I, I just want to make sure you're okay, buddy. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. I'm always excited for Christmas. Intent. I was hoping Santa might maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. Then Santa needs to get me a new job. It has to be a console. A basketball costs 10 bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Okay, what would Captain Spirit do? Oh man, this is cold. I might have to check out the water eater. Drink up. I've never seen a beaver around here. Let's see. What do we need? enough. Shoot better than that guy any day.
Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. Okay, that's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. What the fuck is this? Open your goddamn eyes. You're the goddamn parent. Mm -hmm. Yes. So glad I did my English homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. I can take the pain. At least I don't have to use any needles. to go to that, but Dad had to watch the playoffs. Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job, and that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. Oh yeah, that's how you dominate. That's it. And that is how you shoot the ball. Geez, where's the heat? I bet the water eater is sleeping again. I never get tired of hot dog, man. Never. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. A 
I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Sorry, Pop. It's war. Hmm. Let's check this out. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. I wish I could have gone on a hike with mom. This has to be mom's. She liked art. Grandma and Grandpa are so cool, but no way I'm ever leaving Dad. Hey, can you get that? I need a pin code. What is it? Chris, answer the phone, please. Uh, hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay. Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well... I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool story, Dad. Dad never smiles like that anymore. If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. Dad was so popular. No, no, no! Stole the ball from that piece of shit! You suck! Goodbye, Log. Never burn. Burn! <laughs> I see what you're doing. Stop it. I didn't do anything. 
bad. Yes, yes, yes! Come on! Ooh, this could make a pretty good helmet. One more piece and I'm almost done. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. I hope I set this right. Well, that wasn't too hard. I've tamed the water beast. Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think I'm off. Hey, sports fan. You up for watching the game with your favorite MVP? Sure, Dad. How's the game going? We're kicking their asses, for once. I like it. Cool. I like it when the good guys win. Yep, me too. Did you and Mom watch a lot of games? Oh, uh... Actually, she wasn't a big sports fan. Really? Funny, huh? But she liked to sit next to me and read. You got that from her, for sure. That's cool. What did I get from you? Hmm. Well, my hero skills, right? I get confused by basketball rules. It's like math. You know, but fun. You just have to start watching more games. Maybe we can get a basketball video game to play together. That's not exactly how you learn to play, but it's a start. So, when do you think we'll go get the pine tree? I told you, right after the game. You're not gonna bug me all day, right? No. Sorry. Okay. I'll see you later. I'll let you watch the game now. Yeah, fine. Just get me when it's over. Uh, get ready for the tree. Can we get one that's like 10 feet tall? <laughs> Only if you cut one down, Viking. 
We might need a bigger castle, too. I'm sure I can beat my high score on Mustard Party, too. There's my hot dog, man. I can't see Dad selling homes. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. Oh, those are dad's pages. Boring. Headshot! Ow! Cheap shot! I'm going down! You can't kill the zombie jock! No way! That was a headshot! I am a super zombie! Well, I'm a superhero! Can't argue with that. Zombie down. Captain Spirit strikes back. Dinosaur Land is open for business. Eat everybody! I am Mar T Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! Hmm, I don't think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. Okay, you guys can't hide from me. Dad, I found your car keys. That's where they went. I swore I had them on me, but they must have fell out of my pocket last night. Just put them in the bowl. Cool? Yeah. Good job, buddy. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad?
Ugh, I hate that beer can smell. Hmm, maybe I could cook something for Dad. Beginning countdown to launch. Five, four, three, two, one. We never use this door in winter because of the snow. Are you kidding me, ref? That's my fucking carrier. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. Smells just like her. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared. Careful of booby traps. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. That's scary. So we moved because Dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Dad got fired? 
That's when he started working for the railroad. Oh. My. God. Dad actually got me the new play box? No way! Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Dad doesn't play Mom's records as much as before. Listening to mom's old records. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. Dad loves his cancer sticks. Gross. I wonder what they taste like. Use this to make some cool armor. Yes, this will totally protect it from man -troid. My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. Why is the microwave beeping, kiddo? Did you use it? Make that for me? You wouldn't get up during the game, so I thought you could eat out here. I can nuke this mac and cheese in no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. You better start cooking from now on, buddy. Mom made the best mac and cheese. I mean... She did make the best mac and cheese. But this is the perfect comfort food for a winter game day. Thanks. Well, taste it first. Hmm, a wee bit cold, but this will definitely work. Hey, Dad. Chris, I know what you're doing. Stop.
Watch out, supervillains. Today I make my own superhero costume. Come on, come on, I got money on this. Oh, for the three. That noise. Now I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. Yes, it's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. And it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. This is where Mom went to school before we came here. Mom didn't go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. Oh, wow. I remember when Mom drew that, and Dad couldn't stop laughing. Don't get this one. I'm too young. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. My first picture it looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. Dad used a padlock, he wants to keep me out. Mom and 
dad always talked about how they met at school. Thanks for storing my explosives, Chief. Now I'm ready to rock. Sorry, Dad. Grandma and Grandpa were so nice. I wish we saw them more. I know Dad spent a lot of money on the funeral. A lot. Snowmancer, this is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? Now you are ready to battle with Captain Spirit. Yes! So cool! Snowmancer almost froze the whole city until Captain Spirit melted him. For now. Dad won't fix this wing because it's too dangerous to fix.
Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. The fortress looks safe since we last talked. Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. I can't let Dad find my secret stash. Ever. <laughs> Open sesame. I loved watching Mom draw her comics. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. These are my favorite baseball players, even if I don't understand the stats. Harry did say mean things about Dad, but I can't let him see this. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. Low, like Dad. <coughs> oh, man. <coughs> Stop. Amethyst and flowers on the table Is it real or a fable? Well, I suppose a friend is a friend And we all know how this will end Chimney Swift that finds me be my keeper Silhouette of a cedar What is that song? You sing for the dead What is that song? You sing for the dead I see the signal searchlight strike me In the window and of my room Well, I got nothing to prove Well, I got nothing to prove
I can't go anywhere without the keys. It sucks we don't use this landing bay much. It's so cool. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. Now I have the map to the Maze of Doom.
The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. I forgive you, Mother. I can hear you, and I long to be near you. But every road leads to an end. Yes, every road leads to an end. Your apparition passes through me in the willows and five red hands. You'll never see us again. See us again. I miss Mom's smile. Extra bonus points unlocked.
Here I come, Mantroid. Come on, let's get going. This is Captain Spirit, you copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Escape pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. What's that ahead? Oh no, meteor shower. Turn on the force field. Too late, emergency. SOS, crash landing. Ah! I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind, I landed safe. Time to explore. The planet is so dark and the sky is so red, like blood. No wonder man Troyd lives here. But how could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. What's that sound? Something is coming, or somebody. Dare come to my planet. Man, Troy, show yourself, you coward. Get away from me. <laughs> I don't have to get away because I'm everywhere. Fight me instead of hiding.
You will pay for what you did, man, Troid. I swear. No way. I never get tired of hot dog, man. Never. Man, I love this issue. Wish I could draw like this. I can hack any system. Let's start.
Oh, man. I suck. I would love to see Hot Dog Man team up with Captain Spirit. Dad, you, you sleeping? Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad. It's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Uh, Dad! Uh, uh, fuck! Dad, are you okay? Do I look okay? No. I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Uh, fuck! That's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought, I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just 
just... Just? Just, you know, cleaning up the house and stuff. On a beautiful Saturday like this, you should be playing instead. I even saw you clearing the snow out of the alley, so I hope you don't work all day. Well, it's laundry day. Dad's watching the game, so... That explains all the beer cans. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything okay? Yeah, of course. We didn't hear a noise. Are you sure? Lordy, I thought, I don't know, but it was loud, and there's no other houses around. You probably heard me and my dad watching the game. We kind of go crazy. So. Hmm. You're not the only one. I must be hearing things. I hope you have something else planned for today. Oh, yeah. Me and my dad are going to go buy a real pine Christmas tree. Oh, that sounds like fun. Stephen and I better get one so we can start decorating. Oh, I love this time of year. Me too. And Dad said we could get the best Christmas tree on the lot. You certainly deserve the best Christmas tree. And if you need any extra decorations, we have a surplus. Ooh, that would be awesome. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking care of your father. Of course. We're both on the same team. You're a good son, Chris. Listen, Chris, I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared, you can come visit us anytime, day or night. Understand? We're here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Claire. I promise I'll see you later. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh. No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. Just, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! 